Look, I understand if you're feeling down and unmotivated to do the things that you love to do right now. In fact, there's so much pressure and problems in the world right now that it seems everyone is just low on energy level. But how about I tell you a few things that you can do to make sure you stay productive every day. Now, productivity is a term often used in business settings, now, though it can actually apply to all areas of life. But in a business context, productivity may be measured by the number of sales you made or a company's output. Now, in an academic context, productivity could be measured by the number of papers passed during a test. Now, productivity is simply output measured by input. It doesn't matter what you do, where you school, or where you work. Now, everyone is just looking for ways to be more productive on the job. Now, making some simple adjustments to your workday schedule creates possibilities to see an incremental boost in your productivity level. Now, whatever your industry is, I've listed some of these adjustments below in this video. So, without much further ado, let's get into the basis of how to be more productive every day. And here are 7 tips for improving productivity. Number 1. Stop multitasking. Now, yes, you heard me right. Stop multitasking and calm down. Stop trying to do 10 things at once. I know it's often tempting to try and multitask. You know, juggling lots of tasks at a time. You know, while this may feel productive, it rarely produces the best results. Now, by focusing on just one task at a time, you will complete it to a higher standard and in less time. Now, enabling you to move seamlessly on to the next task. Now, less is more when it comes to being productive. Now, this helps you to be more effective and efficient in your daily dealings. Now, the next tips I'm going to be giving you is set small goals. Now, remember the saying, a droplet of water makes an ocean. Large tasks or projects can feel intimidating and we often overestimate how long they will take to complete. Now, one of the easiest and most practical things you can do is to break down your project into smaller goals. Now you can create forward momentum by breaking tasks down into manageable bite-sized milestones which build until your project is complete. Now once you start breaking it down and realizing what can be accomplished, you will notice how each part builds upon the other. For example, you can clear your inbox by clearing four emails at a time throughout the day. Moving on to the next tip on how to be productive every day is just take a break. I understand it may seem strange to suggest taking breaks when we are talking about being productive at work or in school, but regular breaks actually help decrease stress and increase your energy level of productivity. Now, many workplaces ensure employees take regular breaks. However, if you work from home or you are in an office that doesn't monitor your activity, you can consider scheduling frequent short breaks of 10 to 15 minutes in your work activities. Now, use this time to step away from your work or your study. And this enables your mind to have a rest and a reset, you know, returning with a renewed motivation, assimilation, and potentially new ideas. You should also consider the five minute rule. Now, if procrastination is a big challenge for you, Try the five minute rule by promising yourself that you will spend just five minutes on an outstanding task. You'll be able to eliminate many of the excuses that stops you from starting in the first place. Now, remember that procrastination is a thief of time and a destroyer of destiny. Now, almost anyone can dedicate just five minutes to writing an email, researching a topic, completing some filing, or outlining a new task. Now, the trick here is that once the five minutes are finished, the motivation to continue remains. Even if you move on to another productive task, the small jobs completed within the five minutes still represent an important contribution to your overall output for that day. Download an organization app. Now let's see how we can use tech to be more productive in our daily also. Now where there is the calendar method which is quite popular by most people but if the calendar method hasn't been 
working or helping you achieve peak productivity it's it might be time to download an organization app now according to executives and productivity coaches organization apps help you manage multiple to-do lists organize your address book track your time easily assess your passwords prioritize your well-being and track various assignments now all of which will increase your focus and productivity for that day so some of these productivity apps include calendly Active Inbox, CamCard, Evernote, LastPass, Microsoft To Do, and many, many more productivity apps that you can download on the Play Store or on the Apple Store. Detach yourself from your smartphone. This is probably will be the other tips that I'll give you inside this video. Now, one of the biggest acts to be more productive in this 21st century is to be able to separate yourself from your mobile phone. Now, while you're at work or you're in school studying, try to make your phone less distracting. Now, to avoid the temptation of constantly checking all updates on social media, you can turn off your notifications. You may find it helpful to change your phone's display to grayscale, which removes all color from the screen. Now, for a more aggressive approach, you could also download Flipped, a free app that allows you to lock your phone for a set period of time so you can focus completely on your work or your study. Now, the seventh tips that I'm going to give you on how to be more productive every day is to find time to work or exercise. Now, one of my favorite times of the day is the hour that I work from home before I get on the bus to work. And I would definitely recommend these tips to anyone who wants to be more productive in their daily dealings. Now, you can try to walk around the parking lot, down the street, or on your way to work. I promise you that it's more refreshing than anything you will find on social media. And it's the best way to free your energy for the day's work. Now, exercising can help you become more productive, not because you want to lose weight but because it increases your mental alertness because it increases your blood flow and cardiovascular health you'll be less anxious more focused and more capable of dealing with stress now in conclusion you can try incorporating some of these productivity tips into your daily schedule you can monitor what does and what doesn't work for you so you can build a lasting plan to improve your productivity and there you have it for this week ladies and gentlemen seven golden tips to stay productive every day in your work personal or academic life i hope you make good use of these tips and i hope next time i'll be here again you'll be more productive now don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also visit our website on www.techbyte.com thanks for watching and i'll see you at the other side